the most exciting part of your podcasting journey is the actual recording and creation of it. This is where you can really have some fun as you prepare to record your podcast. You may think that you'll need a full podcasting setup to begin, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Hi, I'm Keshav Naidu from the podcast Far From Fast. And guess what? You can produce your podcast at home for free. You can easily record your podcast using your phone's camera or audio recorder and edit it using any of the free apps available out there. In this video, I'll guide you through the recording and publishing of your podcast. So let's dive right into it. As I mentioned earlier, you can record your podcast using just your phone's camera or voice recorder. There are apps and websites as well to help further with this. So feel free to use whatever you find the most convenient. To make things simpler, here are some do's and don'ts to follow to get the cleanest results possible. Record in a quiet room to avoid background noise interference. Maintain a 3 to 4 inch distance from the phone mic for optimal audio quality. Acoustics are everything. While you make sure that you record in a quiet setting, for a quick hack, you can pull a quilt over your head. This will work wonders with sound quality. Warm up your voice before recording to achieve a smooth and even tone. If your podcast has multiple speakers, ensure that only one person speaks at a time to avoid ambiguity through overlapping sounds. When recording video, choose a background that complements your podcast's atmosphere without overshadowing the main focus, you or your guests. Now, on to the don'ts. Avoid using a single mic for multiple people to prevent uneven speech levels and editing challenges. Avoid using copyrighted material in your podcast. Always opt for royalty-free content instead. When recording video, avoid placing seats directly next to each other. Arrange them at a slight angle for comfortable interaction. Once you're done recording your podcast, use the magic of editing to turn those audio files into an episode. There are many free, easy-to-use apps available to help with editing such content. Using a tool that you're most comfortable with, you can edit out those long pauses and also add some royalty-free music as transition music or perhaps background score to make sure your content sounds a lot more dynamic. This music can be joyful, inspirational, mysterious, zen, or perhaps a combination of all of the above. Whichever suits your content the best. It's helpful to have signature music or sounds that your audience can associate with you. The more recognizable these sounds, the better. Once your podcast is edited, it's time to publish it. That's where Spotify for Podcasters comes in. Spotify for Podcasters is a user-friendly platform that enables you to publish your podcast and incorporate features such as polls and Q&A for engagement, all while keeping track of your podcast's growth through advanced analytics. The app is available on both iOS and Android mobile devices and on your desktop, making it all very convenient to use. Getting started is simple. Just sign up through the mobile or desktop app. You'll need to provide some basic details such as your name, Spotify username and date of birth. Make sure to set a strong password for future logins. It's really that simple. Here's the page to upload on the Spotify for Podcasters app. You just need to click on Browse to select and upload your edited file you're almost done, but not quite. Here are a few tips to make your podcast stand out from the rest, aka packaging your podcast. Make sure the podcast name doesn't already exist so you don't get lost in the crowd and make sure it's easy to understand and spell. Keep your podcast name and description, episode names and descriptions very search friendly. Next, upload your album art. 
You can never go wrong with bold and clean here. Bold text, clean visuals. If your podcast features one or more guests, featuring those guests on your episode artwork is a great way to catch someone's eye. Now before you hit publish, don't forget to plug yourself a little bit. Use your podcast and episode descriptions to ask your audience to engage with the podcast. Let them know that they can like, follow and share the podcast with people or on social media. Don't forget to add your social media links to every episode description so that your listeners know where to find you. You can also set up a poll on Spotify to get feedback from your audience or to engage with them about the hook of the episode. Remember to ask your audience to rate and share the podcast because this engagement is how you'll grow with your audience. And now, hit that publish button. And that's how easy it is to record your podcast and then upload it for free with Spotify for Podcasters. You can find the link to download Spotify for Podcasters in the description box below. In the next two videos, we'll cover all things marketing and analytics, where you can learn how to reach your desired audience, how to leverage your network, and find out who's listening, how long they're listening for, and what you can do to improve those stats. Until then, download Spotify for Podcasters to get started on your podcasting journey.